I just want to give a special shout out to Debbie Jackson. Debbie, thank you for upping your pledge on Patreon. That is so generous of you. I appreciate it. Debbie, that's amazing. Uh, I've been talking to you for a while and you've been watching my channel for a long time. You're such a loyal viewer. I so appreciate it, Debbie. Thank you. And Geraldine, forever Geraldine, the godmother of my channel. You upped your pledge as well. That's so amazing. Geraldine, you keep me going. Thank you so much. And everybody wish Geraldine a safe and speedy recovery. She just had two back surgeries. The first one didn't go so well, so she had to have a second. I warned her, you don't go to a doctor that works out of a van. You just don't do it. <sighs> Nobody listens. Nobody ever listen to me. Now, today's video. <laughs> I know you're going to dig this. cool little houses right there look at that one right there let me zoom in see but that weird dome i think that's a house i don't know that's definitely a house there if you look right through there and there's gorgeous houses all around me that i can actually see although quite frankly i'm not here to see those houses quite frankly I don't give a poop about those houses. I do like the uh, backdrop though. That's Rattlesnake Canyon Park. And then up there, that's Los Padres National Forest. This is Santa Barbara. Imagine if you can Palm Springs, you've seen maybe some of my Palm Springs videos. Imagine if they took Palm Springs out of the desert and placed it beside the ocean. That's exactly what Santa Barbara's like. I've never been up to Santa Barbara before. It's gorgeous. My God, is it beautiful and it's hot. But what I'm here for today, is to see a driveway. Because I've always wanted to see this driveway. Because the man who lived up this driveway is one of my heroes, who I consider to be the greatest musician of all time. I said it before, I'll say it again. The greatest musician of all time, George Michael lived here. Right up this driveway, this is George Michael's Santa Barbara house. Now, look, you can't see a thing, nothing. Except it's a really, really impressive little driveway and gate. And the gorgeous uh, plumage around. Plumage? Did I just put plumage into a video? Yeah, I just said the word plumage. Plumage refers both to the layer of feathers that cover a bird and the pattern, color, and arrangement of those feathers. I believe the word I was looking for was foliage. I'm a moron. But yeah. Right up there is one of the most uniquely designed houses you will ever see. Designed by Cliff Hickman for a... Uh, I believe it was a couple that they were psychologists. He designed specifically for them and George Michael bought the house in 1989. He owned it until 1996 when he sold it. But this was his little uh, getaway, a little getaway home. You may have seen my other videos about George Michael's houses. I've done the London ones and I've done Beverly Hills house. But this, not a lot of people know about this house. And here it is right here. Yeah. Oh, a little dog. Oh, finally, a sign of life. Don't worry, he's with his owner. So let me tell you a little bit about this house while I show you some uh, aerial views, because it's really interesting, this house, the way it's designed and what it... Well, yeah, let me tell you about it. So this house in Santa Barbara, which sits right above the exclusive Riviera District, is known as the Snowflake House. And it was designed, as I said, by Cliff Hickman, who is a disciple of Frank Lloyd Wright, everyone's favorite architect who don't know architects and like i said it was owned by george michael from 1989 to 1996 he spent most of his time in london then but he did come out here he called it his vacation investment home and it's a hexagonal shape it has 16 glass walls that provide incredible views of the mountains the city and the coastline it sits on 5.7 acres of land with four bedrooms four and a half baths i want one of those baths a guest house tennis court with stadium seating and night lighting, a pool, a sauna, and five enclosed garage spaces. 
because George could park his BMWs there because George liked BMWs. Listen to Fast Love. And in this picture, that's me in the red by the driveway. That's how far away I was. I was just playing with a little dog. His name is Luca. And there's bugs all over. Yeah, little dog, Luca. His name is Luca. He lives in Santa Barbara. Um, what was I talking about? Stop. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So George Michael lived here, 89 to 96. Yeah, I've done his Beverly Hills house. Uh, I've never done, he has a home in, he had a home in Texas that he shared with his uh, boyfriend at the time, Kenny. So when I get to Texas, I'm gonna have to do that. That's no longer owned by Kenny, though. He sold it recently, too. You know what's funny? I was thinking about George Michael is, uh, I do, like, I've done videos about um, Kurt Cobain, Chester Bennington, Michael Jackson, um, Chris Cornell. And always people are going on with the theory about, you know, that they, they were murdered they or their suspicion with their death and it wasn't this, wasn't that, the, all this stuff. And I've done videos about Elvis. And I still get that on my Elvis videos sometimes, too. Elvis, you know, Never died. The whole thing, George Michael died, but it never nobody ever questions anything, any of the facts regarding the way he died. I I, I know that he's dead, don't get me wrong, it's, and it's heartbreaking. It was a, one of the worst days of my life when George Michael died. I've said that a million times. It's, oh God, it was awful. But nobody questions the circumstances surrounding George Michael's death. It's very odd. Down on Christmas Day, 2016, it's just odd about the boyfriend that was in the car outside, not in the house, sleeping outside, comes inside, finds George Michael. Like, George Michael, yeah, he had the alcohol and drug issues that led to the, you know, dying in his sleep. I forget the exact cause now. But anyways, but it's just weird that the boyfriend that, at the time that he had was not in the house. He was sleeping outside in a car on Christmas Eve. Like... I don't know. Well, I'm surprised that more people don't the question like, what was going on with there? What's what's happening? There? I guess I don't know. <sighs> Weird, strange. I was just I was thinking that when I was, I was like, nobody ever really questions it, but the fact that you know, when George Michael died, there was stuff going on outside the house. What was happening there? I want to know more, but I just wish he was still here. So there's a new movie coming out, Last Christmas, that's based on Last Christmas that he did with Wham. Uh, the song, and then they got some new George Michael songs in that movie. Apparently, I'm hoping for a new George Michael album. Now he didn't have like a huge back catalog like a lot of artists when they pass away. Like Prince, you're gonna be hearing Prince Prince music, you know, new music by Prince. He's got, I'm sure, for another 50 years. But George Michael pretty much was uh, a lot of his stuff. He, he either released or he some of it leaked to the net. A couple of uh, uh, like snippets of Trojan Souls, an album he was working on for other people, like demos and stuff. So I don't know how much stuff he has that hasn't been released, but I would love a new album. Although it's not the same to me when the artist isn't there to promote it and produce it and finish the album he wanted or they wanted. So it's not the same. It's really not the same. It sucks. But at least you get to hear the voice. You get to hear the music, but I wish it was just the music that he intended. So, But whoever finishes it up, maybe they'll do an amazing job. I hope so. Ah, oh, God, it sucks when he died. It really sucks. Uh, that hit me the hardest of any celebrity death ever. I've had people in my life die, obviously, close to me. That So a celebrity death doesn't pay, it pales in comparison to, you know, an actual person I know. But for George Michael, who was my idol since before I can even remember even anything. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, his music was with me from the beginning, and I just every like if he breathed into a microphone, I have it. I have a recording of it because I just love the man. I thought he was just amazing, just a perfect musician, and such a great guy uh, with a great sense of humor. All right, so here's the house. I've been talking about George Michael, just talking, talking, talking. But you know, if you're a big fan of George Michael and you clicked on this video, maybe you've never watched any of my videos before. Share with me your favorite George Michael song, a George Michael story, something like that. What you like about George Michael, that's what I want to hear. Because George Michael was all about positivity, so was my channel. And I got to see George in concert one, two, three, three times. I would say 
I can't remember the first two that well because they were a long time ago, but on his last tour, it was just incredible. Just incredible, the 25 Live, amazing. Wow, watch Live from London. There's a DVD of it. If you can get a hand, uh, hand, your hands, your hands on that, get it, watch it. You'll see the beauty and the amazingness that is George Michael. God bless George Michael. And he lived right up here, right up here. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little short video. A little short, that's my rap name. Right here, a little, little short. And yeah, right up here, this driver. George Michael once lived. He still lives, right? Here. He still lives here. Peace to George Michael. Peace and love to you. Peace out.